when you start looking at charts tonight, you'll see a lot of similarities, a lot of beta names that went from the dead, hit their five-day moving average, right? Either the five or the 10-day moving average. So if you look at Facebook, right, traded right to support today, right? Excuse me, right to supply in the five-day. If it confirms the supply, it's gonna go higher. If you look at NVIDIA, for example, right? Same thing, okay? NVIDIA finally reclaimed the five-day. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody had a good trading day. Uh, if you sat there all day on message boards, on stock tweets, on Twitter, debating what's going to happen on, uh, what is the damn thing called? Uh, blah, 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 Tesla day, right? You missed a really good day, right? You missed an absolutely really good day, a lot of really aggressive action, and more important, uh, you missed a lot of value, and I think that's the most important part. Um, I think you can spend your time wisely. Uh, you can spend your time kind of all over the place, and I, I found a lot of traders today talking about something that they had no control over versus a day that was setting up that we talked about yesterday uh, that potentially had a lot of value. And that's kind of what we wound up today. Uh, so let's kind of go back 24 hours ago. Two things that happened that were, were, were pretty, pretty obvious, at least not, you know, not obvious to everybody, but were pretty obvious for all you guys' trade technology names. Uh, two things happened yesterday. Number one, technically, we talked about this on the video, uh, the Qs reclaimed uh, major support. This is the support that they lost uh, going all the way back to July the 24th. That was very, very bullish. Uh, the one thing we did notice yesterday that was kind of giving us a, a pretty good idea of what was going to happen today was the first time in three weeks that we saw deep out-of-the-money calls being bought on names like Amazon, uh, on names uh, like Alibaba, names like Apple, NVIDIA, just really good aggressive speculation money flow. And, you know, we anticipated a pretty decent session today. We anticipated that there was going to be a lot of strength today. Uh, I like the idea that the market didn't need to go green yesterday, or at least uh, the Dow didn't need to go green yesterday for the bulls to be kind of in charge. The, the key was today how much value we were going to get. You know, we like the names uh, like Amazon, and we like the names like Roku, obviously, so forth and so on. But we wanted to see what was next, right? What was uh, the idea that is it going to be regulated to a couple of names to give us uh, some good setups, or was it going to be a broader mass appeal? And we got that answer pretty, pretty quickly. Um, what I liked about today's session, again, you could, you know, you could go on the scoreboard, the Dow kind of irrelevant up 140 points. You saw uh, the NASA composite up 200. That is relevant because, again, uh, that is the barometer in pretty much every single name that I trade that's involved uh, with the NASDAQ 100, or at least the QQQ. So it's very, very important uh, that today we made a statement, or at least the bulls made a statement. And the bulls could have rolled over very, very quickly. If you look what happened today, midday, okay? You see this five-day moving average? We talked about this yesterday. Again, we weren't out of the woods. We weren't talking about we're going to go to 52-week highs. We just talked about some of these levels, right? The five-day, the 10-day moving average. And at some point today during the day, and you can see this, the market started really selling off, right? The Q started selling off here. And if you look at uh, it look, if you look at where it got rejected, it got rejected right off the 5, 10 day moving average. The bulls could have left, you know, really just gave up. They could have um, laid down and died, put up no fight, and we would have been having a completely different conversation uh, this evening for tomorrow than we are about to. Uh, what was very, very impressive, not only did the bulls uh, reclaim the five day moving average, they reclaimed the 10 as well, and we're an inch away from reclaiming the 50 day. Now, again, like I said, cart in front of the horse we will not put it's all baby steps so the next big area that we need to close above you know somewhere around this 274 level if we can reclaim the 50 day moving average then again follow me here again supply to supply the next supply will be 276 obviously any close above 276 281 so forth and so on and any close obviously above that and again we're kind of going a little further here that i want but any close above this uh, 282 candle Again, then there's a, you're talking about a puncher shot going to 52-week highs. Uh, if you look at the S&P 500, again, same thing, kind of dead cat bounce, hammer. We talked about that hammer in last night's video, the most basic 
uh, basic fundamental in Japanese candlesticks. We put in a hammer off rising support. And again, the S&P didn't quite get it out of the woods just like the Nasdaq Composite did, but we're getting close, right? The Nasdaq, you know, we, we need um, a reclaim and build over 33.33, in my opinion, 33.33 to kind of wake the bulls up in a little bit of macro area, more aggressive above 33.75 for a potential push back to the top of this range of uh, 34.25. Again, baby steps. You don't need to have uh, every single day have an all or none scenario. It's not a Hail Mary scenario. Again, we are, we are bound by value. We're bound by individual trades, individual ideas. So again, we don't need to do this all in one day. Baby steps, right? Rome wasn't built in a day uh, and neither was the stock market and obviously neither was your trading account. It's all about uh, being in value mode and taking it day by day, trade by trade. So everything looked very, very bullish. Um, we had a pretty pretty basic uh, game plan today. Once we started seeing uh, all these beta channels start formulating, it was again it was all it was all long. So, you know, we'll talk about that in a second. But if you look at uh, today's pivots, literally everything was on the long side. I mean, every single one going from Amazon to Beyond that had a monster move. Uh, Roku was definitely, at least for me, definitely the trade. Uh, of the day for you know for my, myself, uh, just one after another started getting very very aggressively. And if you are looking at charts tonight, again, I, I always encourage uh, a lot of new traders. Again, e again, folks, I say this all the time. Even if you don't know what you're looking at, start training yourself every single day to start looking at charts. Again, there's no you know when I started, there was no playbook. There was no you know thousands of sites that you can get free information to kind of figure out. Uh, what technical analysis is all about. We kind of had to figure it out. Now, there's just so many different resources uh, that you can go on and really understand you know, what technical analysis looks like in its barest forms. Start looking at charts. And when you start looking at charts tonight, you'll see a lot of similarities, a lot of beta names that went from the dead, hit their five-day moving average, right? Either the five or the 10-day moving average. So if you look at Facebook, right? Traded right to support today, right? Excuse me, right to supply in the five-day. If it confirms the supply, it's going to go higher. If you look at NVIDIA, for example, right? Same thing, okay? NVIDIA finally reclaimed the five-day. If it takes out this channel tomorrow, again, there's room, you know, 510, 512, 513, and so forth and so on. Amazon had a huge breakout today. Uh, we covered that last night. There was a monster, monster moving in this, this morning. So we're setting up for more uh, bullish bias uh, for tomorrow's session. Obviously, there's going to be uh, stocks that will rest. Again, stocks don't go straight up. Stocks don't go straight down. There's always periods of rest, and that's good. That's healthy. Uh, but the bias, at least for tomorrow, um, at least for the first couple of hours of the day, I want to give the bulls uh, every opportunity to um, kind of live with prosperity. I want to make sure that a rest day doesn't turn into kind of a back test. Very, very important. So we'll get all those answers and more, obviously, in the first two days. But again, on the surface, Things look good, right? Things definitely look good. Um, you know, names like DDOG uh, look really good. You know, FSLY, it was a good pivot today on FSLY. Uh, that looks really, really good. Crowd was a good one today as well. Uh, so a lot of these names are starting to really get aggressive. And again, cross your fingers, but we might uh, start seeing much more aggressive price per share and expansion of channels. So let's talk about uh, today's session again. Uh, very aggressive, uh, very aggressive day. Okay, uh, Angio, INO never made it. Uh, INO finally took out that 1850. Again, this is why we talk about second entries. Uh, INO traded to, uh, I think, 1868, retrace, never gave that second entry to 1868. Again, guys, for all you guys who are trading pivots, you have to, uh, you absolutely have to use second entries. That is uh, an, a must. It's an absolute must. Don't anticipate the stock going. Use the second entries. Uh, Roku exploded. We talked about this uh, yesterday, a morning strategy. This was definitely my focal point uh, of the day. So here was Roku. Here was the whole channel here, right? This whole 190 channel and just absolutely exploded through the channel. Really, really big move. Went to the highest of 195 and change. Uh, FSLY. Uh, 93 needs to build. Here was FSLY, right? Here's FSLY. Here's the 93. This whole channel here, 93 went right to supply. I still like it for tomorrow. Again, yesterday we saw uh, plenty of 95 weekly call buyers come in. I still like this thing. This thing starts, I think, reclaiming this top of the range. Uh, it should go higher as well. Uh, NVIDIA didn't quite make it. I still like it for tomorrow. I am definitely, definitely watching the video for tomorrow. All it needs to do is reclaim the top of the channel and we might get a NVIDIA day. Uh, crowd, again, 39.75, 140 uh, needs to build, right? Here was crowd. 
right? So here's the 179.5, 13975, 140. Really, really woke up and traded right to the linear regression line, almost to 143. Again, I still like it uh, for tomorrow. Netflix didn't get to 492. That was literally the top of the pre-market range today. Beyond went nuts. I, again, beyond, you can say what you want about the stock and you know, plenty of competition, so forth and so on. But when this thing goes, man, this thing really goes. So here's the whole 150 range, this whole range over here. Uh, and all it did was literally put in a $13 candle. Just, just a huge move on BYND. Uh, Amazon, again, monster. Again, we saw the, the really aggressive call buying we talked about in last night's video. Um, they got upgraded today. Uh, again, pre-market 3025 channel needs to build. Again, obviously, experienced traders only. Not every single thing is for everybody. So here was Amazon. Here was the 3025, right? Here's the whole 3025, and the stock just absolutely exploded. Uh, looks like a date with 3150 going into tomorrow. It was only you know, it was up 168 points. Uh, very, very aggressive. It has a legitimate shot. Yeah, I think even a little higher. I think there's a legitimate shot. Uh, into this 3160, 3175 area into the next supply for tomorrow, but a huge move, 168 point move on um, on Amazon. Uh, Square 154 needs to build. I still like Square for tomorrow. Uh, so here is the one. You know, here is the one. Took out this whole area here. Took out 154. Uh, 50 traded, you know, traded out to basically about to 156 and change. I still like it tomorrow. The macro area is going to be this channel right here. And if it starts reclaiming that, you could see uh, 52 week highs in that as well. So you, can, you get the theme of the day. I mean, really, really aggressive session today. Uh, a lot of big moves. Again, here comes, you know, 3,100 weekly call buyers. This is the one that was very, that was very, very odd. Okay. Uh, so now, you know, we starting, every state is starting to get, you know, different levels of um, movie theaters and so forth and so on uh, to kind of reopen. We started seeing, I'm talking about when I wrote here, panic buying, they were going one after another, literally one after another on IMAX uh, for the October 15th. I, I don't know what was going on when they sold off the stock, the premium is so juiced here. When the, when they sold off the stock from like 1368 to under 13, the, the the calls didn't move. They did not move. So keep an eye on this thing. Definitely, definitely keep an eye on this thing. Uh, keep an eye on these uh, on IMAX. Uh, obviously, if they start going heavy again in those October 15 calls, might be something to watch. Uh, again, we talked about FSLY holding up. Watch this. Still valid. Obviously, they won't. They went pretty nicely here. Take on the way up. 95 measured potential. That's kind of where it got to. Uh, 100 call buyers came in on FSLY. Uh, Docu, nice little move, um, nice little move in the afternoon, uh, 209 rejected five times, needs to reclaim, so here is Docu, right, here's the Docu, look how many times, you can see here, look how many times, here, check this out, you see how many times it got rejected at 209, 209, 209, 209, 209, right, so finally took, got above the 209 and went uh, to the 211 area, so nice move on Docu. Uh, take on the way up, and I said, look, you know, you know tomorrow's definitely shaping up. Uh, for huge potential, right? Huge potential. And the moral of the story is I think, um, you know, the, the most important part tomorrow's session is I'd like to see what happens that first dip. Do the bulls uh, fight like they did today, okay, and start reclaiming macro levels, or does everything kind of turn around and just die out? Again, to be determined, but again, on the surface, it looks pretty damn good. So good trading session today, a lot of good value, guys. And tomorrow, God's help, we'll get some more. Take care, guys. Have a good night.